So what do you think about this house? Everyone's unique and maybe, just maybe, this house gets you. I don't even have to point out things like the archways, the Brady Bunch style bushes, or the curb appeal for the property. The thing is, in Texas, you can have a house built for you from the ground up, uh, but generally what's happening is you're sacrificing things. It's a brand new house, but you're sacrificing things like land, square foot, or maybe some of that character that people love. So let's talk about this kitchen space. People really like the kitchen, so I wanna spend a second in here. You have a dining area, which is great for you to put a table if you want uh, family gatherings or something like that. But you also have a good amount of space to work with. There's a lot of storage, a nice large window looking out, very unique countertops, and check this out. So there's these like oak, old dark oak style cabinets with very interesting uh, handles on it. So that's that character that I was talking about. Also, it comes with a fridge. That's unique in Texas, I'm glad it does. So if you purchase this home, you get a fridge with it. Uh, an electric range, that's important to know. And this area is probably one of my favorites because over to the right here, you have a garage. So standard two car garage. Great for when you're coming in, you need to bring in groceries, you can set them in the pantry, which has plenty of shelving. So that's on one side. On the other side, it takes you straight out into the back patio. Well, that's nice. So if somebody's running in from the back or your dogs are running in from the back, then they're not gonna track anything up. And this is a laundry room. You notice it has a sink and plenty of storage around as well. So now let's talk about a few other things. One, there's nice large tile floors and that's really great because less cleaning. I like tile. Uh, another thing is there are about three family rooms. So I'm gonna show you those here in a second. Family room number one is lush with wood paneling galore. There's nice plush carpet so you can kick your shoes off and enjoy. You have a huge fireplace with some built-ins and a mantle. I like this area. There's even extra seating if you want. And then it's a good size space for anybody to spend some time in. So family room number two is huge. It could probably be used as like an office or a media area, play area, but look at the size, two nice large windows and it's located in the front of the house. Family room number three isn't quite as large as two or one, but what it does have as a unique advantage is it's right off the kitchen. So if you wanted to have another table or entertaining in here, you could do that. It's also at the front of the house so people can walk right in and have access to it. It's also right next to the stairs, which takes you up to see all the bedrooms. So let's go look at those right now. This room is interesting because it has two closets. It would be great for children or uh, a guest room because it has his and hers closets as well. This room is a little bit larger than the last one and another advantage it has is you're overlooking the backyard. There's another room here that's overlooking the backyard and the mature trees. Let's take just a second to pay respect to how spacious this master bedroom is. It has a nice deep closet as well as a sink right outside of the restroom and the shower area so that way someone can be doing their makeup or washing their hands while another person is in the restroom. So there's a yard, right? And it has huge trees, a little bit of maintenance, but kind of worth it in the long run when you realize how much shade you have in the summer. And this is Texas and it gets hot. Speaking of shade, you also have this patio. So it's covered, perfect for grilling, perfect for tailgating at home, perfect for outdoor movie nights. Wouldn't you like that? So what else do you have? Plenty of room to run around, whether it's your kids with two legs, your kids with four legs. You have a shed back there, which is Pretty current, up to date. It looks like it's perfect for like a riding lawnmower and your nicer things, maybe a motorcycle. And then on the other side, you have another shed. And that's nice, uh, maybe for rakes or something else that you would use to maintain the yard. Now, we're not gonna forget about this thing. You see this? It's a pool. It's not just any pool. It's a pool with a diving board. And it looks like your neighbors have pools too. It's pretty incredible, huh?
So this one's for the dreamers who look for a four bedroom, three bath in Round Rock School District. You know, with a little bit of character, a good size yard. I don't know if that's you, but if it is, I have a question for you. The question is, how much would you pay for a house like this? Because that's how it works, right? You just ask me, you say, hey Ian, I like this house. Can we go see it? Can I put in an offer? I would like to pay this much. Now, it doesn't always work out that way, but it's a good start. So give me a call. Be sure you like, follow, subscribe, you know, all those sort of things so that you can see more houses just like this one or unlike this one. I have access to everything that's in the Austin area.